Hi everyone, this is Alejandra. Today I want to show you how to filter information in Power Query using several conditions. For example, here I have my table uh, where I'm f I want to filter uh, my item number by six digits because I have items with six and items with eight digits. The quantity refers to the units. So I want to see which items are under, let's change this to under 300 units. And I also want to filter this by the brand. Let's say I want to filter by brand B. So now that I changed my criteria here on the top, I go to my table, right click and refresh. And now I have the information that is meeting the criteria on the top. Six digits, as you can see in here, the quantity is under 300 and my, my brand is brand B. I can change the brand, go to data, refresh all, and now I have brand A and I have same thing, six digits and under 300. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe and let's get started. Okay, let me start by showing you the content of my folder demo. My folder demo is saved on my desktop. I'm gonna open the files so you can see that all the files have the same number of columns. They are in the same order, item, quantity, and brand. And all of them have only one sheet that is called sheet one. So it's very straightforward. So let's open a new workbook. I close all the files. Let's go to the new workbook, data, get data from file, from folder. Here I need to select my folder where my information is coming from. It's called demo. I'm gonna double click there and I'm gonna open. Here I have the list with all the three files that I just showed you. That is correct. I select, I click at combine, combine and transform data. Power Query selecting the first file as a sample, which is correct. All of them are very similar, so I can work with any of the three files there. So I'm gonna click here in parameter one and select OK. Here the Power Query editor will open and it will create some steps for me. I have my folder helper queries. There I will have my parameter one that refers to the sample file. My sample file is here that it refers to the first file on the list. We can see one step uh, before the navigation. We can see the source and the source has the three files and here is where Power Query selects the first item. So from this table that comes from the source, it's going to select the first item. Power Query is um, zero base. Item zero refers to the first line. So in this case, it's selecting the first line, which is the first file, and it's bringing the information that is uh, on the content uh, column that is here on the source. You will see that the content column refers to the first item, and that is the first file. So now the function is the one that is going to record or have all the steps that Power Query will be applying to this sample file that at the end of the day will be applied to all the files in my folder. Here on the transform sample file, we will see that we have on the data column, if we click on the right of table, just beside on the right, we can see the content of our file, which is this table, which is correct. Okay. Now any changes that we do here will be applied to all the files and we can go to our query that says demo. That is the query that will have all the files, you can see that the source name is indicating all the files that we have in our folder. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do, um, let's go to this demo query and remove this change type step. We don't need it right now and it will give us an error later on if we don't delete it right now. Okay. Let me go back to our transform sample file and let's extract the information from our data column. So the first thing that I need to do, I don't need any other columns. I just need the information in this column. So I'm going to right click, select that column, right click and remove other columns. Now that I have that information, I'm going to click here to this arrows on the top. I'm going to remove the check mark because I don't want to use the original column name as prefix. And I want to extract or I want to expand the information that is in the three columns. I will say, okay. Now I can see that my first line refers to my titles or headers. Let's fix that. There is a little table on, le on the left of column one. I'm going to click there and I'm going to select use first row as headers. Now this is correct. And Power Query changed my data type, which is correct. It's text, number and text. And I know that because in here you can see ABC. ABC, if you click there, refers to text and the one, two, three refers to whole number. So that is correct. I'm ready to filter. Let's start creating a temporary filter. I just want to bring the code so I can work with that. So I'm going to click here at this row beside uh, item and I'm going to just select one item, the first one. I just, as I said, this is just a temporary filter. I have that line. There is only one uh, item that meets that criteria, D22025. Now, what I want to bring is all the item numbers that meet the criteria of six digits. 
right? So here, after each, so what this formula is telling us is it's going to select the rows that are coming from the this table, this table that is coming from our previous step. So let's go that step, this table. So it's going to look into this table and bring only the lines, the select rows, select those rows that meet the criteria that in the column item equal D22025. Okay. So what I want to tell uh, Power Query is, okay, let's bring uh, the items that meet the criteria text dot length from this column item. Item is in a square brackets because it refers to a column. So after the closing square bracket, I close the parentheses and I'm going to say that must be equal to six. And I have an extra uh, closing parenthesis. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to press enter. Now I have all the item numbers. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Control shift plus. These item numbers have six digits, which is correct. Okay. Now let's add another criteria. I want to bring just the six digits items, but I also want to bring the quantity that is under 300. Let's say I have only here in brand B, I have 331. Let's bring only 300. So in here, I'm going to shift enter to go to the next uh, line. And I'm going to say that I want, I'm going to open a square bracket because now from column uh, quantity, QTY, make sure that you spell this information exactly the same than the, the column title. And uh, now that must be lower or equal to, let's say, 300. And oh, I'm forgetting one thing when I press uh, Shift enter. I forgot to say that I want to meet the criteria of text length equal six and I want the quantity to be lower or equal to 300. Uh, enter. Now I don't have that item over 300, right? So now I have all the items that are under 300. Okay. Now let's bring the brand. Okay. Here, let me uh, another shift enter. I'm going to add and and I want to say open square brackets and I want to bring now the brand. Uh, the brand needs to equal, let's say brand C. Oh, uh, that must be uh, inside of quot uh, quotation marks because it's a text and same thing needs to be spelled in the same way than this title. Okay. And uh, let me put just a little bit of space here just to make it a little bit easier to read. And I press enter. Now I have brand C under 300 and uh, the item number is six digits. So my filters are working uh, where it seems to be correctly. So let's go to our demo query. We can see that those steps have been applied to all the other files and we can see all the lines that meet those three criteria or three conditions. Let's make some changes here because this information is not included in the uh, transform sample file query. This is only on the demo query as the source name. So here I want to keep the building number. Uh, so I'm going to extract just that information. I'm going to select that column, go to transform and extract. So I'm going to extract text before the limiter. My delimiter is going to be the, the dot. And I'm going to say, OK, now dot XLSX is gone. Excellent. I'm going to rename this column. That is going to be building number. I just double click to edit. Excellent. Uh, we are ready to pass this to Excel. And oh, just one more thing. Uh, let me change the data type. So I'm selecting the first column, Control A to select the whole table. I go to transform. I'm going to click at the text data type. And now I can see that everything is correct. Text, text, number, text. Okay. Let's go to home, close and load, close and load to. We need to pass this to Excel, but I'm going to pass this only as a connection. So I select only create connection and I'm going to say OK. So I don't want to have all the queries as tabs or sheets. I want to have only one table and I'm going to, that is coming from my demo query. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to right click and load to. I'm going to select table and I want that table to be on the existing worksheet, but I want that to be on cell A6. And I'm going to say OK. Excellent. So right now my criteria are working, and, but every time that I want to change the criteria, I need to go back to my query and make the changes manually on the query. So let's change that. Let's create a table here where we're going to create uh, the criteria that we want to filter our information by. The first one will be, let's say, the brand. The second one, let's say, the item length. And the third one will be the quantity. 
So I'm going to create a data validation here. So I'm going to go to data, data validation. And because I have only three items, I'm going to provide that manually. I'm going to say brand A. Just make sure that you are spelling the information correctly. So brand A must be exactly the same as it comes from the files. Brand B, comma, brand C. Those are the three different brands. And I'm going to say OK. And make this a little bit bigger. So now we can see that we have the three brands. Let's select brand B. The item length, we have only two different uh, lengths. So let's go the same thing to data, data validation. I'm going to select a list and my list will be 6,8. So the comma is uh, separating each item, um, each option. So here let's select six and the quantity. I want to see which items are under, let's say 250 units. Okay. You can be in any of these uh, six cells and go to data from table range and it's going to create a table which has headers is correct. I'm going to say, okay, you will see that we have one more query that is called table two and that is uh, the table that we just created. So I'm going to duplicate that query. And I'm going to duplicate it again. Uh, the first table two, I'm going to call that as a brand name. The second query, I'm going to call that as item length. And the third query is going to be called quantity. Let's go back to our brand query. Let's go to select brand B, right click, drill down. This is how I'm going to have this brand B well identified. Same thing, let's go, let's do the same with the item here on the item length uh, query. Select the number six, right click, drill down. Last quantity. Let's go to the 250 here. Right click, drill down. Let's go back to our uh, demo query. Actually, no, let's go back to our transform sample file and let's uh, replace some of the information that we have here as hard coded. Let's replace it for our three new queries. Okay. Here for the length, let's remove this six and replace it for the uh, item length. Item and it's here already. So I just need to make sure that I'm spelling that correctly as well. Uh, so 300, uh, that is for the quantity, that is gonna be called quantity, okay? And the last one, brand, brand C in this case, that is gonna be replaced by brand name. Name. And I'm gonna press enter. As I press enter, of course, the information that I had there before has been refreshed with the new, uh, let's say, criterias that our table had. Okay, let's go to Excel, let's go to home, close and load, close and load too. Same thing, only clear connection, I'm gonna say okay. And now I have the information that it meet the three conditions. Okay, let's test it. Let's go to brand, let's say C, and the length, let's select eight, and let's say I want something under 300. Right click to our table, refresh, and now we have all the items that meet the three conditions. So, and just to prove that, I'm gonna say equals, Length. This is to know how many digits this item number has. I'm going to close parenthesis and enter. And I did that here, uh, one column away from the table. I don't want to be part of the table. Everything else seems to be correct. So here we don't have anything over 300. And also we only have brand C. Our query is working properly. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.